Hello and welcome to Long Beach Lens. I'm your host, Derek J. Simpson, Executive Director of the Long Beach Community Action Partnership. When Councilwoman Lena Gonzalez was elected June 4th, 2019, to represent the 33rd State Senate District, she vacated her role on the Long Beach City Council representing the 1st Council District. It did not take long for word of potential candidates to spread around the city for this seat on the council, and by the time the filing deadline arrived, there were eight candidates from diverse backgrounds registered with the city clerk. In an effort to help inform the community about the candidates and their vision, as the next leader of the first district, PatNet TV and Long Beach Community Action Partnership decided to create this special first council district candidates forum. Though this will not be a debate, it will be an opportunity for each candidate to share their vision in two minutes and answer one question randomly selected from the community. We realize two minutes is not much time for such an important message to the community. However, we feel that it is at least an opportunity to hear and see the candidates in action as you make your final decision. We sincerely hope that you find our efforts to better inform you about the first council district candidates helpful. Here they are in no special order. Hello, my name is Joe Gannam, and I'm a candidate for city council in District 1. My wife, Marcia, and I have lived here in Long Beach for 14 of our 42 years together. Public service is in my blood. I've co-founded major neighborhood organizations and served as president of the Downtown Residential Council. Mayor Foster and then Councilman Robert Garcia appointed me to the Homeless Commission at the urging of Field Deputy Lena Gonzalez. I served for four years and was on five local nonprofit boards, part of more than 40 in my lifetime. I testified on the housing element and the city manager appointed me to a downtown task force. I've also helped the police and fire departments interview new recruits for four years. In short, I've been actively working to make Long Beach better. My extensive background is well suited to represent District 1. To address affordable housing, I've proposed the Home Futures Fund that will make home buying and renting more affordable by reducing rental costs, cutting mortgage payments and interest at no cost to taxpayers. Homelessness is a tragic social problem that can be solved. Permanent supportive housing is the key. The city spends more than $30 million a year on support programs, but sends people experiencing homelessness back on the streets because of the lack of housing. It's a repetitive cycle. We can and must do better. Together, let's end homelessness. I advocate for improving public safety through community policing that will build trusting relationships and make safer neighborhoods. As a former police officer, city manager, and housing advocate, I'm ready to bring real solutions to make Long Beach a great place to live for everyone. Go to votejoegannum.com, then compare the candidates. I will appreciate your vote on November 5th. Thank you. Rent control is a problem that's affecting the entire state, and it's largely due to the fact that we have greater demand than we have supply of housing. It's necessary because a lot of people are suffering today, and I understand that, but our real solution is to find ways to provide more housing, increase the supply, and reduce the demand, and then the housing costs will be more appropriate. So rent control, I hope, is temporary. Hi, my name is Elliot Gonzalez and I'm running for the Long Beach City Council. I'm running on a platform calling for a 100% renewable energy policy, what I like to refer to as a Green New Deal. I'm calling for us also to build public and affordable housing to address our current housing crisis. And I'm also calling for us to establish a bank so that we can finance our major public infrastructures. So when I call for a Green New Deal, I want us to address the fact that our city has some of the worst air in the nation, that the air causes causes heart disease, uh, cancer, asthma in the lungs of the children in our community. And we must do everything we can to stop this environmental crisis. This means that our city must divest from fossil fuels and from oil, and we must make a major investment into 100% renewable energy to power our homes, our businesses, our ports, 
and transition our city to a clean energy economy. The other major investment that we must make is in housing, which is also in a state of crisis. We see many people sleeping out on the street all throughout our city, and I know it breaks all of our hearts. I know that we can do something about this, that we can build the housing we need for the people who need it, and we also must build affordable housing, because all throughout the city, people are getting displaced by the increasing price of rents. They've been building lots of housing all over Long Beach, especially downtown and in the first district. They just haven't been building it for the communities from Long Beach. I believe that we must invest in our community and we must build affordable housing uh, for all. So I'm asking for your support on November 5th to elect me to the Long Beach City Council. You can find out more about my campaign at ElliotGonzalez.com. You can follow me on social media at Elliot for Long Beach. Thank you. Do I support rent control? Of course I support rent control. But more than rent control, I also believe that we must build public and affordable housing, and the way to do this is through a community land trust. With the land trust, we can purchase land and build the housing that we need. We can control the quality of the housing, and we can control the price of the housing, rather than leave it up to the market. This provides a public option outside of the market for us to provide long-term housing solutions. Hi, I'm Ray Morkecho and I'm running to represent you on Long Beach City Council. I love this city and I think that we can work together to keep it authentic and diverse while we work together to face problems that are continuing to plague our neighbors. We have issues like public safety, we have issues with homelessness, and now we have an affordable housing crisis, to name just a few. I think if we work together, we can address these problems by adding more police officers doing the things that we're asking them to do. I believe that we can build our way out of a housing crisis, and I think that there's opportunities for us to get back to basics and make sure our streets are drivable, our alleys are kept, and trash is picked up. Those are the basic things that I want to get back to as your city council member. I have a diverse background that I think best represents a diverse community. I work for the state of California and understand how bureaucracy can either help or hurt. I also own a small business, so I understand how hard it is to get a dream off the ground, but I also know what a good employee is worth, and they should be paid accordingly. I've also been poor. A mother of three had to raise myself and my two sisters by herself using food stamps and public assistance. But I also saw what a good union job did to help lift us out of poverty. I have a diverse background, and I hope to use that diverse experience to help move Long Beach forward without leaving people behind. And all of that doesn't matter if we don't pay attention to the environmental impact that we are having on our planet. I hope that you can vote for me on November 5th. If you need more information, please visit www.votelbray.com or like me on Facebook. Thank you so much. Rent control is definitely on the minds of a lot of voters. As I knock on doors and talk with residents and myself as a renter, it's definitely a top priority. But I think we need to build our way out of this crisis. It's just plain scarcity. Lots of people want to live in Long Beach, and there's just not enough homes. I think that we can use this as an opportunity to partner with trade unions like carpenters, pipe fitters, welders, things of that nature, and actually uplift us economically so that there's more opportunity for people to afford homes and more homes that are affordable. Long Beach is experiencing an economic resurgence, but many of our communities have been neglected. And why I believe the future of Long Beach is through equitable growth, inclusion, access, and economic opportunity. There is work to be done, and there is no one more invested in this work. As a community leader, I have stood in front of city council for causes I believe in. I, have, I serve on boards and have volunteered hundreds of hours to our community and city. As a mother of two, I, I understand the importance of parental involvement and why I serve as a Long Beach Unified School Site representative and school site council member. As an advocate for clean air, safe streets, and more green spaces, I serve on the Parks and Recs Commission as Mayor Robert Garcia's appointee. And as a small business owner with a master's in business administration, I understand that our neighborhood's business vibrancy and why I'm proud to be awarded Best of Long Beach and Best Small Business in 2018. Our first district needs a strong voice and a champion for its residents and, com and communities and why I believe that we need a strong independent voice. As, a, as your city councilwoman, I intend to be that strong voice at City Hall on your behalf. I will use a multifaceted approach to our affordable housing crisis and those experiencing homelessness. I am a strong believer in investing in our youth. As such, 
I will su increase support for early education and youth workforce development. I will tackle our unemployment rates by supporting small businesses and building partnerships with educational institutions and uh, growing industries for, to ensure that we're promoting new investment and economic opportunities. Lastly, I intend to keep our government honest and why I will support and ensure that we will be transparent and accountable. I am a public servant and I'm here to serve you. My name is Mariela Salgado and I'm running for Long Beach City Council. Rent control does not work. I've seen it displace my parents of their rental for over 20 years in West LA. In its current legal standing, it allows for property owners and land landlords to convert their units to uh, condos or um, build new construction. So I believe the pathway or the future is in increasing our affordable housing supply and building pathways to home ownership for our community and residents. 30 years ago, my wife Moretta and I chose to raise our family in Long Beach. For the past 25 years, we've called the first district our home. We love its unique character, its neighborhoods, its diversity, and its people. It's worth fighting for. For far too long, our first district has been forgotten. City Hall deal makers treat our district as an afterthought. While power brokers cut backroom deals, we face an affordable housing shortage a growing homeless humanitarian crisis, and the highest rates of childhood asthma. Development projects displace long-time residents. Living wage jobs and opportunities are lacking. In fact, we're the only district without a neighborhood library. I'm running for city council to put your interests first. I'm the only candidate with experience creating affordable housing, finding transitional and permanent shelter for our neighbors, and lowering our students' exposure to port diesel pollution. I've spent my entire adult life addressing these important issues. As the director of Canopy Communities, a nonprofit housing organization, I oversee the renovation and building of affordable housing units in Long Beach. And as a church pastor, I've worked with the poor, the homeless, and immigrant communities to find jobs teach financial literacy and provide food, shelter, and assistance. As your council member, my priorities will be affordable housing, clean air and water, increasing jobs and opportunities, promoting small businesses, and expanding community-based policing. I have the experience to clean up city politics. I'll work with you to make Long Beach work for you. I respectfully ask for your vote on November 5th. Thank you. There's no doubt that we have a serious affordable housing crisis, but rent control can lead to people living in substandard housing conditions that does not get maintained because landlords will have little to no incentive to reinvest in their properties. It could create a new and larger housing challenge. With my experience running a nonprofit affordable housing operation, together we can find ways to increase the availability and supply of decent housing that people can afford. Hi, my name is Mary Zendejas and I'm running for City Council for the 1st District. My story began when my parents immigrated to the United States from Mexico when I was a little girl. They came in search of better health care because I had polio. It was because of all their sacrifices that I was able to be the first in my family to graduate from high school, become a U.S. citizen, obtain a degree here from Cal State University, Long Beach. As a healthcare director, I work every day to improve the quality of life of the most vulnerable communities. As a 30-year resident, I am the only candidate that has been endorsed by our Long Beach firefighters, Long Beach police officers, Mayor Robert Garcia, Senator Lena Gonzalez, and 75 other community leaders. I am running for the first district because the first district residents deserve a true champion that's gonna fight for access to housing that is affordable, um, good paying jobs, safe neighborhoods, and a healthy environment. 
on November 5th, make sure that you vote for me, Mary Zendejas, to be your next first district council member. Join our campaign at maryzendejas.com. Rent cost is very critical and a pressing issue in the first district. The first district is home to over 1,700 rent control units, which is more than any other district in the city of Long Beach. I believe that the fastest way to solve that issue is to build more affordable housing for all income levels, but especially for those low income earners. As you can see, each candidate is passionate about their vision and our city. We look forward to an elected leader that will work in collaboration with the first district community, city council members, and our mayor to continue progressive efforts that make Long Beach an inclusive city for all citizens to thrive and enjoy. First council district residents will have an opportunity to elect their next council person on November 5th, 2019. Please don't take that privilege for granted. Thank you for watching this special Long Beach City Council First District Candidates Forum.